One last question. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of demand, interest in having video on news sites, and everyone is doing it. Um, I'm not sure if anyone has really uh, discovered the successful secret sauce to make it work, both editorially and from a business perspective. Where do you think things need to go, or how could the sort of news video on traditional publishing sites, um, like yours, like the New York Times, like the Wall Street Journal, uh, how might it evolve, and what do you see as a successful scenario? Um, I know the answer to that question, but I'm not going to tell anybody because I'm going to get really rich <laughs> in, a, in a couple of months here. Um, we're all, it's, it's the Wild West right now in a lot of ways. I've been here just over a year, and I'm not taking credit for this, but in the year that I've been here, we have quintupled the viewership of our site, mostly by just making sure people know it's out there and, and providing more material on the web. What I, I'm having a great time because this medium allows me great flexibility to do stories that wouldn't make the nightly news. <clears throat> I'm not chasing the same story everyone else is chasing on the cable networks. I have the ability to go off and find interesting things that I think work both for time.com and also for the web. The, the constraints aren't there, you know, I can allow myself to, to fail occasionally and know that Maybe no one's going to watch this piece, but it's kind of interesting. We should do it anyway. Um, so you don't have those kinds of ratings pressures that you might have had. We still have pressures. Don't get me wrong. We're still trying to grow this enterprise, and we, um, and we are. But I think um, I'm just having a blast right now as a, as a journalist going out and doing this stuff um, and, and helping people do it with me. Um, but where it's going from here, I mean, hopefully, that we'll find ways to pay for all journalistic enterprises out there, not just video journalism, but you know, newspapers and, and print journalism and things like that, that we'll find models that will help us um, to survive in the fairly um, difficult environment right now. And I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty sure that we'll still be around five years from now. But five years ago, if some, we were just thinking about video on the web at the New York Times, for instance. And we had no idea where that was going. And uh, right now it's a very robust and fun environment and we're all out there doing some, some great stuff. Um, and I admire what I see coming out of um, my colleagues at other institutions. And I think we're all doing um, interesting work that wouldn't have a home anywhere else. And I think that's, that's it's great and amazing. Um, and I th I'm pretty certain that we'll find a way to sustain that. We may not have the number of VJs, for instance, the New York Times. Hopefully we'll be able to grow things here and, 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 and thrive and things like that. Um, but I'm sure that, that we'll be involved in it. Um, as TV and the web start to meld more, who knows? I mean, what Does it make sense for time.com to continue to do that? We'll see. I mean, it, it all depends on where the, you know, where journalism goes in the next five years. Very good. Well, Craig, thanks for your time and your uh, your insight, and, and we really admire your great work. Well, great. Thanks so much.